you do when you yeah, do you that? Do How do we have but, the but, answer? But, but, if, but if I may add, let me through, through six, I'm telling you, <laughs> this is going to be gasoline. <laughs> well, it may be. It, it, it really is. And, and you guys can stop that. My, no. But wait a minute. No. You guys can stop that. Please listen. Okay. You guys can stop that by answering the question, for example, on the Hudkins deal. That is a huge deal. I can't answer that question. You can if you go talk to the air assurance people. Wow. Facts are not just shown by documents, Steve. Facts are shown by talking to people. Well, then, your, then, your, no. your brother has made a life I, by I presenting facts that. through I, documents I and through testimony. I, I, so have I. I. I understand that, you know. What, you know, we answered that in a way that we thought was best for the school board. Uh, I mean, the vast majority of this is irrelevant to whether or not work orders were prepared prior to services rendered. We found that out when we were, we meaning RFR, found that out when we were investigating what was going on with, with Sisney when he was at the helm. Mm -hmm. But this stuff is, is I'm, I'm telling you folks, it's going to explode the school district and it does not add anything to your report. This man down here at the end of the table is going to be, he's not going to be able to run a school. That's exactly right. He is not going to be able to run a school. What page did you just state that? Starts on page 35. Yeah, I got that. I'm on page 37. So the shredding of the information came from, huh? That's a goddamn lie. Pretty much. The shredding of this information came from whom? Who stated this? It's. Who yeah. stated yeah. this? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, let's go back to that. Nancy Billing came about for a very simple reason. Uh, Sisney stole our documents, and we could not get information without bringing somebody in like Advancy. And Advancy came in and recreated the documents. As a matter of fact, most of the documents that Bo has turned over in litigation came as a result of Advancy having their forensic audit uh, or forensic examination. We had a number of issues with some board members. Uh, the confidentiality of executive session was continuing to be violated. I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say why, mm -hmm. but it was because that information was coming out to the public, which it should not have. Information in this building sometimes came out. Um, so yeah, when somebody wanted to view something, yes ma'am. If a board member wanted to view something that was possible, could be taken pictures of or anything else, yes ma'am, they will have a witness. That's just good board workmanship. If you've got some people on the board that have other interests besides moving the district forward, which is what we've tried to do the last two years. We have come into a situation I have never witnessed, nor has anybody national witnessed. We have been labeled, branded. This just brings it all back for me can't go through that again. I don't think this is the purpose of this. This isn't what we paid for. Since I was never contacted, I don't know why it's in here. He seems to be a, a man of uh, a lot of integrity in his work. Very he's, much so. uh, he's proud of his work and he's proud of you all. He stepped up in a, so. in a very public meeting. I just, I just, I'm afraid for your what you guys have put out because a lot of it is slanted one way and I think from from my perspective, I would be more <clears throat> more objective, um, stating some of the facts because a lot of this stuff is you interviewed the right people. You did do that. You interviewed a lot of great people that are all involved in all this. But I think you've got a one-sided story, and I think that's going to be the criticism that you'll receive. Uh, because let me tell you, in this in this community, they are ready to move on. In that same paragraph that had the misspelling, because we had we had a couple issues going on there where we would have the the contracts and the POs being set up one way and the payment going on the other. But that was the OSSBA and the insurance NACO thing. Mm -hmm. We also had one where there was an invoice that was paid that was apparently backdating some insurance stuff. I have 
I know it, nothing about, I'm reading all this for the very first time. Right. The reason I know, I the reason I believe that this is all accurate as to the NACO thing is because no one representing others.